there. How are you? Good. Thank you for coming into our salon today. What can I help you with? Okay. Did you already pre-schedule? Okay, great. So what is your last name? Okay. And how do you spell that? Let's see. Um, I don't have you in my last name, so uh, what's your phone number? And is that 22? Okay. Oh, okay, so we had it spelled a little bit differently. Um, what's the correct spelling? B A D G. Okay. Oh, that's an interesting name. I like that. Okay, perfect. So, we have you in for an eyebrow shaping. Okay, great. So, uh, do you know how we do things here? You don't want the waxing then. Okay, just the plucking. Okay. No, it's actually great because we have, um, we have a specialized liquid that we put on top of the eyebrow skin. Um, so we'll put it right here and then we'll also put it below the eyebrow and it's going to numb uh, the skin underneath. So it's going to be pretty hard to feel the plucking, which is great for you. Um, and uh, it's just an overall better experience. Okay, good. And do you know um, the shape that you want yet? No? Okay. So what I recommend first is that we do a uh, general, like just face shape analysis, and then uh, from there, we're going to pick the shape of the eyebrow. So let me just show you. This is what we have um, in terms of um, shape, um, just your face shape. So typically, we either have an oval face, round face, heart-shaped, diamond, square, or a long face. Um, so it looks to me, like, let's see here, I'm gonna say that you have um, more of a heart um, or square shaped. So you have a couple of different options. Um, so for the heart shape, right here, the arch shape, uh, we're going to start with a low arch and a curved brow, then add more volume um, up in here, like the towards the nose bridge, and um, that's going to add more, you know, length to the forehead, and it's going to really balance out your face. Um, kind of the same thing with the square um, face shape too. We would start with a curved eyebrow, and then we're going to angle it more to create um, kind of a balance between your jawline and your forehead. So we'll make uh, this part a little bit thicker. And I can show you some examples. So now do any of these kind of call to you a bit more? Okay, so no thin eyebrows. You want more of a a voluminous eyebrow. Okay. Okay. So, you like that one? That's actually a good choice for you. I think maybe we can even go a little bit thicker um, at the beginning of the brow. We'll go a little bit thicker there and kind of shape it outwards. And I think we could do a strong arch in the middle. What do you think? I mean, it's completely up to you. If you wanted something a little bit different, we could do that as well. Okay. Just go with what I think. Perfect. Um, and then were you gonna have the, um, were you gonna get the brow gel dye? No? Okay. Did you want them filled in afterwards? Okay, so we are gonna fill them in then. Okay, perfect. Um, so, your class today, you have a gift certificate. So we don't have to worry about cost then. Okay. So the great thing is, so I'm gonna go ahead and shape them for you, and um, and then afterwards I'll add in the color. And then if you decide that you actually like the color, then we can do a semi-permanent color, and it'll stay in your brows um, for about two weeks. So it's really nice, low maintenance kind of thing. Okay. So the first step, uh, have you removed any makeup from your face? No. Okay. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. Just gonna be using these retinol cleansing cloths. We just want to make sure that we have a completely blank slate when it comes to your brows.
go ahead and relax. Okay. Make sure we get any debris off your face. Anything that could make the hair slip. And if you just want to close your eyes. How does it feel? These cloths are great, aren't they? Okay. So the next thing we're gonna do is I'm gonna take this liquid and I'm just gonna apply this underneath, actually just all over the brow, because I don't want you feeling anything. Excuse my cold, but it's not. You'll start to feel it kick in a little bit. You want to just do this? Tap it. Let's see. What do you think? No feeling? I told you. I told you. Okay. Let me just go ahead and put your hair out of the way. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and actually, I'm going to use this and I'm going to shape them first and do a trim and then I'm going to get the loose hairs and make sure that we don't have big bulky eyebrows. We want to see two distinguished brows. So let me go ahead and shape.
more on that. Okay, so that's going to be the first part that we've got done. And now, be a little bit close, okay? Alright. Just tell me if I'm too close. Okay. Also, just let me know if this hurts at all, okay? Sorry if I'm just like all oh, in your face. It's not my intention to make you uncomfortable. Let me just get a couple underneath here. Have you always done the waxing? Yeah. You haven't liked it? It's okay. Everybody has their own preferences. Do you want to take a look and see what you think so far? No? Okay. I can just keep going. Okay, great. Alright. So I'm just going to do a couple more trims. also easier to kind of style them too, just like a haircut. So. They look great. I love them. 
from so far. I really do. I just want to get a couple more hairs underneath. They're a little bit light, so I couldn't see them before. But I'm just going to go ahead and get those. any pain? No? Okay. You actually have a couple of your hairs. Do you mind if I get them? Okay. It's kind of a pet peeve of mine, so I'll just go ahead and get in there as well. Kind of a two-for-one deal. A lot of people actually get little tiny hairs in their ears. It's good for you. It filters out earwax. But some of them are a little bit unsightly, so I'll take care of that. And don't worry, I won't charge you for it. I would hope that if somebody saw something in me, then they would do the same thing. A couple more. any other uh, other places as well, right? Okay. Okay. So, <clears throat> now that I have the general layout of your brows, I'm going to be using this brow gel. Now, this is um, a really great brow gel, but like I said, we do have uh, semi-permanent options. It works just the same as a hair dye in the fact that um, the semi-permanent stick to your hair follicle and um, you can wash your face over and over for roughly two weeks, sometimes a month. It just depends on kind of your um, face regimen, how many times you wash your face. But um, yeah, exactly. So, but this one you're choosing the non-permanent. So um, this is a brow gel. It is, um, it's called Dip Brow Pomade. It's by um, Anastasia, and um, it's in the color blonde, right? Okay, so now blonde, you may be thinking too light, but it's actually a really nice brown. So I think this will look really great with your hair color. Okay, I'm glad you agree. be taking my um, brow brush and dipping it into the, and don't worry, I already sprayed alcohol on it. Okay, just going to be dipping that in there. And then I'm going to be kind of filling in, you know, shaping them, making them look more full. Okay. looks so nice. It's such a difference. 
really frames your face whenever you get your brows done correctly. Where did you get them done before? Oh, somebody that wasn't professional? Yeah, I can see that. They looked really bad when you came in. Oh, that's just me being honest. <laughs> The idea behind this is that we want to create short strokes, just like this, so that way it looks like the hair is natural. Just like this. No blending or kind of smearing. We want to make it look as natural as possible. Short strokes. So great. Oh, do you like it too? Good. I'm so glad. Okay, good. Okay, so let me go ahead and just take off <clears throat> some of that numbing cream that we put on so that way you can feel your eyebrows again. Okay, so I'm gonna put some on here. really polish it off. Good. Looks great. And this also gets rid of the redness as well. Oh man, it looks so good. Oh, I just love it. Great. Okay, so <clears throat> like I said, if you'd like to purchase this, we sell these as well. Would you like to? Okay. And do you, did you like the color choice? I told you it was darker. Yeah, look, I think it looks, I mean, seriously, your brows have probably never looked so great in your life. Yeah, so you're welcome. Oh my god, you're welcome. <laughs> okay, great. So thank you so much for coming in. I'm so, so glad I got to fix your messed up janky eyebrows. Thank you so much for letting me do that. Please, if you know anybody else with, um, with brows that are just as bad, please send them in. I would love to fix everybody. <laughs> Okay, great. And, um, we want to get one of these too, right? Okay, I'm just going to throw it on your gift card. Okay, so I'll pack this up and, uh, give it to Lisa in the front and, uh, we'll see you soon. Don't forget to come back in about two weeks so I can really fix them up again. Make sure that they're all together. Okay, thank you so much for coming in. It was so nice meeting you.